detailed demonstrations. Before sharpening, you should ensure that the point angle and the relief angle are set correctly. To adjust the point angle, first determine the correct angle by placing the bit in the gauges. Then change the point angle to the correct setting if necessary. Most bits have a 118 degree angle. After adjusting the point angle, set the alignment handle. Most twist bits should be sharpened on the plus setting. Step 1. Alignment. Insert the bit into the chuck jaws and close the jaws just to the point where the bit slides in and out. Match the flats on the chuck with the flats on the tube. Now press the alignment button in and hold. Insert the chuck and slide the drill bit until it touches the drill stop. Release the alignment button. Look into your alignment viewer. Make sure the clamp arms are in the bit's narrowest spot. If they aren't, turn the bit to the point that is held by the clamp arms in the narrowest width. This is important because this setting determines the angle at which your bit is sharpened. Then hold on to the chuck and tighten the chuck knob. Press the alignment button and remove the chucked drill bit. Tighten the chuck once more so the bit won't move when you sharpen it. Step 2. Sharpen. Insert the chuck and align either white mark with a cam guide. Now rotate the chuck white mark to white mark an even number of times. The drill bit is ground by the sharpening wheel each time you turn the chuck. Turn white mark to white mark an even number of times. About six half turns for a quarter inch bit and 16 to 20 turns for a 3 8 inch bit. Remove the bit and inspect the tip. When sharpening, listen carefully to the sound your drill doctor makes. If it sounds like this, you are sharpening correctly. Note that you should direct light pressure into the sharpening hole, not down. And always make sure that the chuck rests firmly against the cam guide as you turn the chuck. Keeping the chuck against the cam guide causes the sharpening port to rock back and forth. This motion shapes your bit for the best cutting. Optional step, split the point. To split the point, do not remove the bit from the chuck after sharpening. Insert the chuck into the splitting port and align the white mark on the chuck with the mark on the port. Brace your thumbs against the drill doctor so you can control chuck movement. Tap the bit against the wheel. Split the other side of the bit by turning the chuck 180 degrees and again tapping the bit. Examine the bit. If it is under split, repeat the splitting procedure. If it is over split, resharpen the bit. You should use a gentle touch when splitting. Listen again. After a few tries, you will discover that splitting a bit is simple. Sharpening small bits. A few quick pointers will help you sharpen smaller bits more successfully. First, align the bit as normal. However, before sharpening, look inside your chuck from the back. If the chuck jaws look like this, then you need to gently loosen the chuck until the jaws align properly. If you sharpen the bit with the jaws out of alignment, your bit will also be out of alignment and won't sharpen properly. Now, sharpen the small bit, but use very light pressure and fewer white mark to white mark rotations. The bit should only briefly contact the wheel. Sharpening large bits. The standard drill doctor chuck sharpens bits from 3 30 seconds to 1 half inch. This chuck is delivered with both the model 500 and model 750. The special 3 quarter inch chuck sharpens bits from 1 half to 3 quarters of an inch in size. This chuck is delivered with all model 750s or may be purchased separately for your model 500. Large bits are sharpened just like any other bit. It is important to sharpen these bits so that the entire face of the drill bit is sharpened. A large bit will require more white mark to white mark rotations. Bits one half inch or larger will need a minimum of 40 half turns. A three quarter inch bit may require up to 60 half turns. 
your drill doctor is delivered with a 180 grit diamond sharpening wheel. If you regularly sharpen larger bits between one half inch and three quarter inch, you may wish to purchase the coarser 100 grit sharpening wheel, which sharpens larger bits faster. Either the 100 grit wheel or a replacement 180 grit wheel may be purchased directly from Drill Doctor. Sharpening Masonry Bits To sharpen masonry bits, set the alignment handle to the negative sign. Insert your masonry bit in the chuck in the same manner as other bits. Hold the alignment button down and insert the chuck into the alignment port. Do not release the alignment button. Instead, rotate the bit to the 2 o'clock position. Hold on to the chuck while tightening the knob, and then remove the chuck. Remember to tighten the chuck once more to hold the drill bit securely while sharpening. Now, sharpen the masonry bit. Start with four half turns, inspect the bit, then add turns as needed. Remember, do not split the point on masonry bits. Cleaning Your drill doctor is a precision tool and should be cleaned periodically to remove dust and grit that can wear down the ports and the chucks. Keeping these parts clean will keep your drill doctor sharpening accurately. The following cleaning process typically takes no more than five minutes and should be used to clean your drill doctor after every 20 bits you sharpen. You will need to clean the sharpening wheel area, the alignment port, the sharpening port, the splitting port, and the chucks. Unplug your drill doctor before beginning the cleaning process. To clean around the sharpening wheel, remove the wheel cover with the narrow end of the wrench that came with your drill doctor or with a flathead screwdriver. Shake accumulated dust into a container. Then use a small dry brush to remove dust particles from around the wheel. To clean the ports, wipe the inside and outside of each with a dry cloth to remove any grinding dust. Alternatively, you may vacuum each port with a one-inch vacuum hose. Additional cleaning is required for the alignment port. Remove the alignment handle by turning counterclockwise until it is almost straight up and down. Then pull forward on the handle to remove it from the machine. With the alignment handle removed, wipe or vacuum all surfaces with a dry cloth. Reinsert the handle. A clean chuck will prevent bits from slipping out of alignment during sharpening. To clean, blow compressed air through the chuck from the knob end to remove grinding dust. Then, as explained in the user's guide, take the chuck apart and clean inside and out. Your diamond sharpening wheel will wear down over time and will need to be replaced. Often your wheel life can be extended by reversing the wheel and sharpening on the other side. You should consult your user's guide for complete instructions on how to reverse or replace the sharpening wheel.